about two years ago now. Steve and I had the opportunity to help take over a family farm and we decided that moving to Southern Ontario would be a great opportunity to kind of get back to nature, which is something we had wanted to do for a long time. The New New Age is a celebration of sustainable living. There's a lot of artistic, aesthetic, elements to farming. You're working with the land, you're working with the elements, you're forging these creations out of seeds and soil and water. So we definitely think of farming and serving food and locally made crafts as a, a form of artistic expression. Our store is in Port Stanley. It's about a 20 minute drive to the west from our farm. We support a lot of local artists and other farmers too. We offer a seasonal foraged menu as well as a brew pub where we brew our own seasonal organic beers. Justin Warren is our chef. He's an amazingly talented food artist and he, he does amazing stuff with the produce that we bring in from our farm. The idea of having a retail store that serves as a community gathering point I find really interesting. We hope that people take away an appreciation for local abundance of wild and, and cultivated foods. Everybody loves ice cream, so we're not only making a product people enjoy, we're creating memories for them as well. Shaw's Ice Cream is a family business. Myself and my two sisters, Kim and Christine, manufacture, retail, wholesale, hard ice cream products. Our ice cream is sweet and smooth, and we've made it our mission since taking over to make ice cream the way it should be. Fresh cream is the first ingredient on our list. We make it the good old fashioned way. It's been a landmark in St. Thomas for decades. So it's neat to encompass, you know, that history and tradition. So people coming in here get that sense of comfort and are excited to try something new. We make over 50 different flavors of hard ice cream. We make the classics like butterscotch ripple and black sweet cherry to some of the new age creations we've put together. Coming up with these new flavor ideas is one of the funnest parts of what we do. It's such a simple thing, you know, to scoop up a cone of their favorite flavor and it creates such joy and excitement. It's just so symbolic of happiness. Railway City started as a single car garage location right in the downtown core. You know, we started from a, a U-Brew operation. Our investors were friends and family, people that believed in what we were doing. We started in 2008 and our community was job loss after job loss. Now there's a sense of pride in our community and I'm proud of the fact that our brewery was one of those elements. Our flagship beer has been Dead Elephant right when we started brewing it seven years ago. Dead Elephant is a nice English, well-balanced India Pale Ale. Full-bodied, full-flavored ale. It's absolutely delicious. We're passionate about the beer that we brew and connecting with local people. We have local former tobacco growers that are now growing our Cascade hops for our Dead Elephant Ale. It's, it's all connecting our craft beer with the culture and heritage of our community. Everyone wants to make a living and do well for their family. And we're the blue collar, hardworking community. And we believe that that resonates in our beer. Wine is one of these things that I get excited about because I can't know everything, but I'm going to try to learn as much as possible. I love the obscure. I love the pursuit of knowledge. I describe K de Vin as the biggest little winery that nobody's ever heard of. One of the things I'm very passionate about when it comes to wine is blending. The one that really captures my enthusiasm is our Saunier. Saunier is a rosé. We will take fermenting bins of grapes and we will siphon, we will bleed, we will saunier, and I let it sit on that sediment for just long enough that you get this creamy weight. 
I'm not using inferior product to make a rosé. It's, it's the best of the best that goes into it. Several times a year, we open up the cellar, invite people in for a five course meal. Chef James is creating these magnificent feasts. In order to get the most out of a wine enjoyment experience, I recognized a long time ago that wine is like a seasoning. It's a spice rack. It's a, it's a complement to your food. Having grown up on the farm, I'm committed to understanding these vineyards. I've had a relationship with these plants that has lasted my entire life and thankfully is, is continuing. I'm just really grateful for the surrounding natural habitats and for the community that we're in. It's really exciting to think what we'll create together. It's pretty neat for people who haven't grown up in this area to realize what we have going on here, and it's different. And I think the more people that start to experience Southern Ontario, you're, you're gonna find some neat treasures that a lot of people aren't seeing. We're fortunate in Elgin County to have a community of individuals who are passionate about what they do, finding other people around you who are taking the same interest, but in their own spot. It's, it's heartwarming, it's validating. <laughs>